So we passed by this place a couple times, but never really introduced ourselves. Hello, late. <laughs> what the? F Hi. Hi. Uh, who are you? Molly, at your service, sir. <laughs> what? You seem like a fun person. Would you like to travel with us? Oh yeah, let's get moving. All right, she's gonna add a bit of flair to our journey. Oh God, <laughs> I'm gonna go drown myself. <laughs> But no, seriously, let's check out this place. I've been working on a new move. I call it the Molly Face Bomb. <laughs> what? What do you want? What's up, Molly? What? Uh, what? What? What's on your mind? I wanted to learn karate instead of cheerleading. Then I found out there was no pink belt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you see my panties in this outfit? I sure hope so. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gotta say, I'd feel more comfortable holding a pair of pom-poms. What? We'll have to find some of them for you. I want to beat some baddies up. Let me at them. Okay, okay. Let's that's, not delay. Let's keep going. That's great. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. Uh, you know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. So that's what this place is called, huh? Yeah, we're a real up and comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. What's the test for? We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? You mean people that like the Garfield comic strip? Because I could see why you'd want to keep them out. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? Some are... Since. Oh. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Just take the test. You pass, and you can come inside where everything's safe. All right? Okay, so you're going to weed out synths. Yeah, okay, sure. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. Where do I sit? And I don't need to do the test. A plant is more relevant than me. Okay. What? So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. Okay. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Uh... You'd say that. Hmm. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. Oh, gross. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Restrain the patient and observe as the infection spreads. <laughs> you discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I'm sorry, are you giving me a Voight Kampf test? Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? We'll take the ATF route and burn the building to the ground. <laughs> That'll get him out of there. Yeah. You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Uh, I'll just kill myself. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? i just kill myself. <laughs> You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... Yeah, I'd replace his blood pressure medication with sugar pills. He doesn't have a healthy relationship with his father. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. Yeah, but hey, I bet. You passed. I'll open up the gate. That was the stupidest test I ever heard. You're the stupidest test I ever heard, Darlene. Also, you were all the way over there. How did you hear him? He was practically whispering. What do you want? Uh, what are your thoughts? Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Molly! That's me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Covenant. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. All right, let's see what the hell is the no, deal with No, you're not allowed place. in here. Rude. <laughs> It's good to see a new face around here. 
Uh, hello, who are you? Well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. He immediately assumes we're good quality people, huh? Well, because we passed the test. I guess. Well, I passed the test. <laughs> and I then you let the rest, the rest of us of in. You. Yeah, that wasn't smart of him. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Who, who's Dan? He's a gun for hire. Not the most savory line of work, if you ask me. You have a good stay now. Gun for hire? Well, thank you very much, Jacob. Gun for hire equals companion? The caravan came a few days back. Worked for old man Stockton. You saw them, right? I already told you. I don't recollect. We get a lot of traffic. This isn't Diamond City. A caravan of five comes through, you'd remember. Then they must not have come through. We're a caravan of five. Say, <laughs> wouldn't you rather have a lemonade? My job here isn't drinking lemonade. I know for a fact they came here. Why the brush off? I want to help, mister, but I really don't recollect. Mark my words. I'll get to the bottom of this. You from around here? God, I hope not. No. Got enough of these hicks. Nope, just passing through. My advice is pass through sooner than later. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? I uh, no. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Oh. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. Yeah, okay. Who are we looking for? The big one is Stockton's daughter, Amelia. I didn't find any bodies of the feminine persuasion. So, uh, there's hope. If we find her, Stockton's offering a heap of caps. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. What do you think about this, Molly? When I was cheerleading, people clapped when I face planted. <laughs> <laughs> that seems very mean. How do you think things are going between us? Hey, it's hard to tell, but I'll let you know if you piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of like you. Hey, uh, is that the robot that gives off lemonade? After a long day, nothing beats Deezer's lemonade. You know what does beat Deezer's lemonade? Deez nuts! Oh! Cool, a robot's barkeeper. Hey, Deezer, what do you serve today? Why, nothing but the most refreshing, delicious lemonade you've ever tasted! Lemonade? Where did you find the lemons? The secret recipe is a tightly guarded secret. But here, try a complimentary beverage. Oh, uh, this won't kill me to try. Get your lemonade here! Uh, hi. 93% of all visitors prefer Teaser's lemonade! To what? Uh, sure, I'll take some. Enjoy! How's it taste? I like some type of fruit drink. You know what would be great for a lost caravan? Deezer's lemonade! Deezer's lemonade! Best <laughs> beverage in Covenant three years straight! You are very excited. What's in the lemonade? Deezer's lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments. All in one cold glass. Oh boy! Try it! And enjoy, or take advantage of the money-back guarantee. I didn't spend any money on it. What's the catch? No tricks, no gimmicks, just the best lemonade in Covenant, free to our special guests. Cool, I guess. Thanks. I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. But welcome. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald, but you, cutie, can call me Penny. Oh, sucks. It's so nice to meet a friendly face. You're in luck, then. Covenant is the friendliest place in the whole Commonwealth. You'll see. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. A shotgun? What the? Damn, you got some fancy ARs in your inventory. <laughs> you got time to fill me in on the latest gossip? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> this town looks so nice. How did you manage? 
Oh, thank you for noticing. Well, the men folk would say good old-fashioned elbow grease keeps Covenant as the prettiest place in the Commonwealth. But between you and me, I think shrewd trading may play a big part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good joke. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. Still, got a lot to do. You have a great day. <laughs> you too! Damn it, I failed speech check, son of a fucking bitch. <laughs> Hey, you again? got a chainsaw. A I feel like I need month. a chainsaw. Ted better get on and this And a lollipop. Oh my God, it's a, it's a reference to <laughs> lollipop, lollipop yeah. chainsaw. <laughs> Another newcomer. Hello. We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Stop it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, oh. what is happening? Why oh, all the shooting suddenly? shooting me. <laughs> You think you can kill everyone in the compound and get away with it? I didn't even start trying to. Look, I don't even have a gun out! Oh, that one's gone crazy! Attacking us with some kind of samurai sword! There you go. Oh, God. Bless America. <laughs> well, this is why God invented time machines! Oh. Oh. Has aborted five compound runs due to a fisherman who has stationed himself at the Mystic Pines Pond. Mr. Huntley reports that his. New favorite fishing hole is directly on top of the compound entrance. I can Man, I wish I was intelligent crack. enough to do that. <laughs> Molly thought that was super awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you. Poking around? If you <laughs> ask me, I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. What kind of rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound? Right. So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation and I'll give you a gift. 100 caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. Surely there's room for some compromisation. I get stocked in survivors and we stay friends? Tell you what, I'll let the Kampa know you're coming. Then you can make your case to them. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. It's nice to know that people can be reasonable. Everything is amicable. No one needs to get hurt. Depending on if they give us what we want or not. Yeah! So obviously what we need to do is find this fisherman, ask him where his favorite fishing hole is. This is his favorite fishing hole. Oh, uh, just kind of right out here in the open. Yeah, huh? I think that's the fisherman right there. Oh, let's talk to him then. They have to keep canceling runs because of this. Goodness, this is touching and also kind of macabre. Just kind of sitting out here for no real reason, okay. Are you the fisherman? Go find your own fishing spot. Don't scare the fish, asshole. So this is your fishing spot, eh? <laughs> Obviously, we gotta go in one of these pipes. That's where we're secret. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Interesting. So. Curiouser and curiouser. Behold the compound. Hello. Just because Jacob vouched for you doesn't mean you can enter the compound. Why should I let you in? Look, I just want to talk with whoever's in charge here. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. I'll take it to Dr. Chambers. She can decide what to do with you. Don't try anything funny. I'll try all the funny things I want. I'm a funny man. Your armor is also pretty cool. I have to admit, I'm, I'm kind of into it. It just looks like a weird flak vest, <laughs> yeah. which is probably what it actually is. It looks like you took a gym mat and turned it into a flak vest. I mean, flak vests kind of look like gym mats, to be completely honest. Uh, kind of. Um, look at these fortifications. Blythe. We have to hey, explore this area. Yes, what is it, Manny? I thought you guys were done with Subject 12. Oh, yes, the interview's over. I'm just reviewing the data on Question 4. It's fascinating, really. Yeah, I'm sure. Certainly. Interesting. Thank you for bringing that up while we're doing this thing. Thank you, thank you. Yep, keep on going, buddy. Go. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. No. Oh, great. Now he's never going to fucking climb up the ladder. Yeah. You're the first outsider that's been in here. You're welcome. 
I don't know why I said you're welcome. <laughs> you shouldn't be in here. Well, I, he's escorting me. Uh, more, wow, there are a lot of guards in here. I really don't want to have to kill all of you. But I feel like we're going to have to kill all of you. We're probably going to have to kill everybody. So the one investigating Stockton's caravan has arrived. Yes. Do you even know that his supposed daughter is in all likelihood a synth? No matter. Let me be upfront about this. There are two ways this meeting can end. Okay. We come to an agreement or there's violence. Yeah, I would prefer the uh, the peaceful solution. As would I. Um, Let me there's a cheerleader a walking around back. What uh, would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? Yeah, I'd probably make them pay. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths. To root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? It is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. Dispose? Like, kill the woman? You could spare her and then continue to do tests to perfect it. Which is not exactly better, but it's, it's an option. I mean, if she's a synth, then she's basically a toaster. If is a very important thing. The odds are too great she's an institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Let, let me check something. Uh, that is that is not a lady, that is a turkey leg. <laughs> you, go um, ahead and interrogate that turkey leg. Oh, all you there want. she is. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Okay. Who are you? I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a synth. Please, you have to believe me. I'm a human being just like you. My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Just let me out. Please. But how do I know you're a synth? Please, Can help me. Technology? Probably lost forever. All right. Surely you don't want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find him first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. And it works, huh? Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. Kidding. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth. But the exact trigger is elusive. The margin of error is admittedly high. Four or five false positives per synth. But one day we hope to get it to one or two false positives. It sounds like your test might not even work. We just need more data. More test subjects to narrow it down. I'm sorry, I can't gloss over this. Do you have any evidence she's a synth, or are you just saying she's a synth? Well, the, their evidence is the safe test. Which she already admits is faulty, and has false positives. Are you being silent for a reason? We're, we're arguing about how stupid you are. It's Right now, it seems very much so. Whatever, go ahead, I don't care. Excellent. What? What are you doing? I'm certain the autopsy will confirm my hypothesis. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Zap. Oh, <laughs> Ow. You'll find Covenant has a lot more <laughs> offers since we've come. Well, launched her out of the door. To this understanding. Oh, she's definitely a sin. Yep, you called it. I'll give it to you. We were under the mistaken impression you wanted to rescue the Stockton girl. For a while there, I thought I was gonna have to kill you. Oh, I would have liked to see you try, buddy. <laughs> nice armor. It's good you're on our side. Hi. Yeah, I'm not allowed in there. All right, all right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna push it. <laughs> I would say they're good at catching since, but they caught one, and it could entirely be luck. Yeah, that could have just been a fluke. 
let's acknowledge that rescuing this woman would have been very difficult. She wasn't even human. It would have turned everyone down there hostile. It would have made the town of Covenant hostile. So rescuing her wasn't a good idea. But the overall ethical dilemma is a, still a problem because they are kidnapping people under the assumption they're robots. Yes. But they have no proof. They just have this one... They have their test. ...flawed test. Yeah. You know what the easiest solution to this is? Once I leave, it's not a problem for me anymore. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Exactly. And also, we probably should get rid of this fisherman. People are mucking around the shore at all hours. Scaring my fish. His voice by Jim Cummings. You can't kill him. Wait, isn't Jim Cummings... Isn't he the voice of Pete and Goof Troop? Yes. Oh, shoot. Now I definitely can't kill him. Yeah. Great. Well, now Jim Cummings is their problem, not my problem. I guess. Why am I mad about that? <laughs> Standing on the chair. That's definitely not synth-like behavior. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain! <laughs> Dr. Chambers filled me in on your arrangement. I can't tell you how relieved we are. Everyone in Covenant has suffered dearly at the Institute's plan. We all believe in the mission, but outsiders may not clearly see the sacrifices that are necessary to protect the Commonwealth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All of us have lost people to the Institute. Poor Ted Huntley lost his entire family when a courser retrieved a synth. Covenant's main goal is to improve our synth detection test, but it's equally important to help heal the casualties of this phantom war. I hope you understand. Well, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few and all that nonsense. I... I don't know if the safe test will ever be perfect, but if there's a chance to tell who the real people are, the wholesome people, well, we have to take it. More power to you if you can. One more thing. We'd be honored to fly the Minuteman flag and contribute oh. further to the safety and welfare of the Commonwealth. That's, that's surprising. Um, what happened to that guy? Did you take him out back and execute him? I think they straight up disappeared his ass. But that's, that's very short-sighted because the guy is still going to be looking for his daughter. He's going to send more people. I'm so happy you're on our side. Of course, Tali. Do you need to use my tools? <laughs> this oil can must have been used to feed synths. Is that how synths work? Darlene, do you drink oil? Wait, Darlene's a synth! Darlene's a synth! Everyone, get her! Get Darlene! I know, I'm small, but I pack a punch! <laughs> That's it. That's okay. I, I, I'm beginning to like her a little bit more. Yeah. She... I, initially, I was like, oh, God, no. Don't get the bimbo on our team. Please, <laughs> God, no. But you know what? I, she's kind of fun. 